Yeah, I was doing a live video. Uh, but I think I had some connection issues and volume issues. And I'm just repeating this because I think pretty much it's very important and very relevant um, based on the times that we're in. I was talking about time and I'm going to repeat myself here that I came because I feel like humanity, all human beings, we are being cheated here. Someone is stealing our time. Our time is being stolen and we are not even aware. And this is something that came up, especially the last 10 years. Our time has been stolen so, so, so much. And we have no idea how much of our time has been stolen. So I came to ask us a very simple question. Do you know that your time is being stolen? Do you know people are competing for your time? If you're not aware, then think think of what I am talking about today. If you had an exam and you had one hour to do the exam and you go to the exam room and you're prepared, you have your pen, you have an exam, but someone comes in there and is just stealing your time, playing with you, causing you to get distracted. You know what will happen at the end of the one hour? Your time will be stolen. You won't be able to write anything on that paper and you're likely going to get a zero. Or if he manages to steal half of, half, of, half of your time, you're going to get less than half of what you do. So you likely are going to fail the exam. You need concentration. And what I am saying is this. Life, think of life as a exam. God, the creator, the supreme creator of everything, brought us on this planet with a purpose and he has given us time as the 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 asset to help us to help us fulfill that purpose so we do have a limited time on this earth say 50 years 60 years 70 years 90 up to 100 depending on the the clock that god the biological clock god has put in your spirit that you should live that's a time you've been given to fulfill your purpose. The purpose on this planet. Think of it as the example I gave about the exam. So we do have a particular amount of time. We need to fulfill a certain purpose. You need to discover with God what's the purpose on this earth. But now, having settled that, that we, have, we are thinking of life as a set goal with a set time. Now let's think, what's the problem here? Our time is being stolen. And that means we can't and we will not be able to fulfill the mandate or the purpose that God put us on this earth. Why? Because someone is stealing our time. And I'm here first and foremost to discuss about who is this person? What is this thing that is competing with our time? And one thing that I know that is stealing a lot of our time is social media. Social media is the greatest tool that Satan is using to steal your time and my time. And they're very, very clever. For example, I was talking about Facebook. If you keep sc scrolling or watching a video on Facebook, you certainly think it's free. It's not free. First, it's using your data that you're paying for. Even if it's Wi-Fi, you're paying for it. Secondly, as you watch every now and then, they will force an advertisement, which someone is paying. And you'll have to live through the advertisement, whether you watch it or not, it has to, it has to play and someone is paying for it, but you have to spend your time because if you don't, then they won't get money. So your time means money to Facebook and they know it's, it's valuable. Your time is very, very precious. They know it. It means money for them. But what that means for, for us, it's our time is being stolen at the expense of Google and YouTube and Facebook. And all social media, Instagram, uh, be it Twitter, they're stealing our time, but they're making the money from advertisement. But our time is being stolen. TikTok is stealing our time. I was listening to someone who said that the average uh, attention span of humans now, especially here in North America, is eight seconds. Can you imagine? 
We have an attention span of eight seconds. You know what is an attention span? Like if you're teaching a child, how long are they able to listen to you and concentrate before being distracted and looking away? You know, children have a pretty short attention span. You teach them something, they're bored 30 minutes in. So you have to give them a break for the next lesson. Now our attention span on average has shortened to eight seconds. It's crazy. For example, I know some some people right now have, have just gone off this broadcast because they can't take it. What is this guy saying? I'm done. Let me go to the next video. That's why we have three seconds clicking people. They just listen to you, introduce the video, they're gone. They do not have that much time. They do not have a, that attention span. Why? We've been conditioned by social media to, to do mindless scrolling over phones and to be quickly entertained and move on to the next one and that's how our attention span has been stolen the more they shorten the, our attention span the more they feed us with content and the more we stay on their platforms for example tiktok has 15 seconds 60 seconds or a minute video most of them are 15 30 seconds right so it's easy to see it but if you're entertained and you're given a small dose of that dopamine, that, that gratification from, you know, you get that gratification from uh, quick entertainment. So you're likely to take more dose of the same. You know what I mean? If, for example, you know, people who drink alcohol, when they take one, they, they get a certain gratification. The second one gives them more gratification. The third one. Now, what TikTok has done, they have given us entertainment that gets us happy. We get that uh, rush of dopamine, which is the hormone that give, makes us happy and relaxed in short, small doses. So it's quicker. It's, 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 we, we always tend to get more doses to get more happy. So we keep scroll, scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling until when you're there for three hours and now you're having, you know, you're getting something we call diminishing returns. Like you, you want to puke now, you're tired, you're stressed because you've watched so many videos. All I am saying without getting complicated, I'm sure everyone knows knows what I'm talking about. Social media, it's stealing our time. Guys, I'm one of those people who, who is raising, uh, blowing the trumpet that there is war, guys, before Jesus is coming back. And right now, the devil is on overdrive to steal your time and my time through social media. There, there are, people are competing for our, our attention. There is fight from this video, this content, this, 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 I'm following this person. Now they have a new content. There are a lot of voices talking to us and they need our attention. Hey, look here. One, one minute later, hey, look here. One minute later, oh, CNN is saying this on social media. Oh, this is saying this. Oh, this comedian is saying this. Oh, there is a new challenge. Now let's do the challenge now. All the noise in, combined in social media, various platforms, is stealing people's time. And by the end of the day, you'll find out that you're spending hours and hours, three hours, two hours, three hours, four hours, five hours on social media. Then you go on television and Netflix, you spend another two hours. We are spending our day on screens. And if I ask a genuine question, if you say you're a Christian, how much of your day's time and night do you spend with Jesus Christ? You find that people pray for five minutes in the morning. They go to work. They work a little bit. In between work, they go to Facebook. In between breaks, they go to TikToks. In the evening when they come, another two hours in TikTok. Then they watch the television, news, and they go to Netflix, another two hours. We are spending most of our times on screens, be it social media, be it Netflix, be it entertainment. Combined, you would be shocked to realize that screen time per day is more than five hours. Yet, you pray five minutes in the morning. You read the Bible, probably five minutes. And then you spend the day, then in the evening when you're tired, done eating, done watching news and Netflix, 
before going to bed and you're tired and about to sleep, then you're like, I need to pray. Then you make a quick one. Thank you, Jesus. Send an angel to protect me three minutes and you sleep. How can we say we are children of God when you're spending a lot of our time watching the worldly things and worldly content? It, we, we should not lie to ourselves that we belong to God. If we belong to God genuinely, we need to be friends of God. To be friends of God like Abraham, we need to spend time with him. And I think Satan knows that his time is very short. And what he has done is he's stealing people's time. Even, for example, right now I came to preach here. This video is going to be like 10 minutes. I do not know how many people will watch it through from beginning to the end because I'm wasting their time. Their, their attention span is not there. They want to see that you feel like you're missing out. The fear of missing out is called FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, fear of missing out. You think it, like you're missing out on content and entertainment and news. That's how Satan has get, got us hooked on things so our time will be stolen and we won't have time to spend with God and his word. And that's how we, will, we people lose, end up losing their salvation or never even coming to, to be saved at all. Because no one listens to preachers anymore. No one listens through to a sermon of 20 minutes. It's too long. When I read my Bible, I hear Paul was preaching preaching long two hours until someone falls off the window and dies he was preaching long going long peter on the day of pentecost he preached long it's not this tick tock preaching 10 15 seconds the bible says faith comes by hearing the word of god not for 10 seconds you need to pay attention so that the Holy Spirit convicts your will, you know, your, your self-will, slow by slow. And then you have the faith coming in. So guys, do not allow Satan to steal your time. I, I say be very practical. Go back to your life. Write down what you do every day. Take like three days and see how you're spending time. And then I guess you, you're going to realize what I'm talking about. That it's true. Then you need to manage and change your time management and keep it in line with God's word. Jesus is coming soon. Watch and pray. Jesus, that's what Jesus told us when he left. Watch and pray. To watch is to be sober and see what are you looking at here? What are, let me watch. Let me see when the thief is going to come. And thief is Jesus, by the way. He comes the time that he's not expected. He like a, someone coming to steal. Watch and pray. So we are called to pray. How much time do you spend praying? We are called to know Jesus through reading his word. That's the only way you can know him. And listening to the word being preached. So you read it first. You listen to preachers every day. And then you pray every day. That should take most part of your day. And then your regular work and family, spending time with your wife or husband and your children and friends. Not wasting time with social media, with, with Netflix all the time, movies and ending. You know every actor and every movie, but you do not know any book of the Bible, any verse of the Bible. Reveling, partying, going for parties every weekend, spending five hours drinking, shouting, making merry noisily. Every weekend, you know how much time that takes in a month? And remember, we are going to give an account to God of how we spent our time in this body while on this earth. So it, it boils around time. Do not let the devil steal your time. It's, it's the most important asset you have right now. I would say time equals life. That, that's how important time is. Time and life are inseparable. Your life means you're living in real time. Spend your time wisely. Do not let the competing voices and lies of the enemy steal your time, guys. Time is important. Surrender it to Jesus. Spend your time with Jesus now because you're going to spend time in eternity. This is like a kind of a rehearsal. We have a little rehearsal here. How we're going to spend time with God in heaven. We rehearse here. Watch and pray. 
not watch social media, not watch YouTube and Netflix and then pray. To watch in the spirit means be always connected to the Holy Spirit, the spirit 24 hours, then pray. Watch what's happening in the world and pray. Watch the wars in Ukraine and pray for Ukraine. Watch the news and understand the direction of prayer. What's, what's going on in the spirit? What's wrong with the world? Pray in line with what you're seeing in the spirit and what's happening around you. Watch and pray, not on social media. Things will be happening to you without you knowing. If you're on social media, Satan has captured your mind already. That's how Satan has stolen the minds of people. If he steals your time, you're always glued to the screen, scrolling mindlessly. Your mind has already been stolen. You can't think for yourself. It's other people on social media thinking for you, telling you what, you, what to think, what's trending, what challenge do we do. Someone is controlling you already. Can't you see that? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Being always on social media, influencers, few people telling you what to think, what to wear, what's trending, what to think about, op their opinions. It's like the Bible. It means everything. God's opinion is in the Bible. You read and watch and pray. Let me stop ranting, but do not allow Satan to steal your time. Thank you, guys.